In this video, I'll show you how to switch or toggle between the list view and the source view in subtitle edit. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So in subtitle edit 3.6.0, the tab to switch to source view was removed, creating more space for the list view section. And the list view is what we see on screen. It has a number, start time, end time, duration, text. And you can still modify this to include other parameters like characters per second, words per minute, or gaps. You can also size all columns to fit. If I click on that, you'll see something that just happens. Uh, that is what happens. Let's assume we just want to add more characters. We want to add words per minute. We also want to add a gap. So this is what it means when you say uh, size all columns to fit. If I undo that, then you'll see that there's more space on this side and you can just move that to the side. So let's just remove the uh, few additions we made and just have the start time, end time, and duration. Let's just move this back. This is the list view. To move to the source view, you can either right click inside the list view and go to source view or just press F2. Let's just click on this uh, particular option in the context menu and we'll go to the source view. This is a source view, and since this is a subrip or SRT subtitle format, you'll have the number, the time codes, uh, the subtitles, a space, and then a number, and so on and so forth. If we look at a different subtitle format, let's assume we look at something like an advanced substation alpha, ASS. If you do that, then we'll have different information from the subrip. So with the source view, you'll be able to, to see uh, more detailed information than you would see with the list view. If I press on F2, you'll see that what we have here is almost identical to what we had in the subrip format. Uh, other than just the style on this end, uh, the start time, end time duration and the text is identical. If I press on F2, we go back and see uh, this is the source view. If we try and look at another uh, subtitle format, let's look at something like WebVTT. Here we go. Uh, what you'll notice is that there's always a title, WebVTT, with a video text track subtitle format, and then there's no numbering, but the time codes, uh, what is different between this and an SRT is that uh, this one has uh, a full stop between, uh, I believe these are the seconds and the milliseconds, uh, while well, the subtitle or the subrip SRT has a comma. So we have a title, space, timecode, text, space, timecode, text, space, and so on and so forth. So with a source view, you're able to get more information than what you would see in uh, uh, in the list view. So that's the good thing with the source view. Uh, you can be able to see some of that pertinent information. So we can just go back to the SRT. I believe it's at the top, subrip. Let's click on that and then we can press on F2 to go back to the list view. So there we have it. That is how you can switch or toggle from the list view to the source view in subtitle edit. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.